Hello there, it's Mark here from Excel Off The Grid. In this video, we're looking at how we can run a macro on a protected worksheet. Because what happens if we try and run a macro on a protected worksheet? We just get an error. What people normally try and do is to unprotect and then reprotect the sheet. But actually, there's a better way. And I'm gonna show you what it is. So if you're ready, let's get started. So here in this example, we have this shape that's connected to a macro. So when I click that, just enters the word clicked into that cell. But what happens if my sheet is protected? So I'll protect the sheet with a password. I'll re-enter that. And the password I'm entering here is password. We'll see why that's relevant in a moment. So now if I try and click this button, it tells me that I've got an error. The cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. To make a change, unprotect the sheet, you might be requested to enter a password. If I click debug, it takes us to this line of code. And it shows us that this is where our problem is. Now there's actually a property that relates to the worksheet that we can apply, which allows us to change the worksheet with a macro. And you can see this line of code here. So sheets and then sheet one. So that's the sheet that's currently protected. When we protect it with a password, and as you can see the password that I've applied there is password. We change the property of user interface only and we set that to true. So if I run that, can see that if I click my macro button now, it comes up and says clicked, even though my worksheet is still protected. Now the issue is that this user interface only property has to be applied every time we open up the workbook. So that means in the this workbook module, come to the top and go workbook, on workbook open, I can call the macro that I've created. I've called that allow macro when protected. Come back, call, allow macro when protected. Right, I'll close that. Now I will save my workbook. I'll then close it and reopen it. So now this workbook has been reopened. It's recognized that I've got macros. They've currently been disabled. As soon as I click enable content, it will then run that workbook open macro, which means when I click that run macro button, it doesn't cause me any problems. I can't press delete on that because the worksheet is protected. So there we go, that's how we can run a macro on a protected worksheet. We don't need to unprotect and reprotect, instead we need to apply that user interface only property. But as I said, because it gets applied every time the workbook opens, we need to run it inside the workbook open event. Well, that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.